In this week's video, I do a redo of my controversial RAV4 Prime gas mileage tests. I take three 110 mile trips, one with the roof rack, the other with the crossbars, and finally a naked Prime. Stick around till the end as the results are stunning. Hey guys, Daryl here. So if you recall, about four months ago, I did a video um, testing the gas mileage between uh, a stock RAV4 Prime with crossbars and a RAV4 Prime without crossbars. A number of people suggested that I use the same gas station and the same gas pump. So I did actually use the same gas station to do the fill-ups at both locations, but I didn't use the exact same gas pump. And the test that I did was relatively short so I think it was only about 35 36 miles so a lot of people really wanted a retest with a longer longer mileage and so that's what I'm doing today and so now we're taking a drive um, we're in hybrid mode and we're in echo mode so we're gonna go somewhere between um, Prim, so we're, we're, I live in Las Vegas, so we're gonna go somewhere in between Prim and Baker. So Prim is about, eh, I would say probably 35 miles away or so, and Baker's in the 67 miles away or so, and so we're kind of splitting the difference between those locations, and so it's about, it's about 55 miles where I'm gonna be going. Um, I get to climb a mountain, so, or at least go up to about 5,000 feet or so. So we'll get to see, you know, the performance going up the hill and then back down the hill, and um, and see what the um, what the mileage looks like. And so it's going to be about 110 miles. And so I think that's enough um, for a good test of the gas mileage. And we're doing it all on the same day. So there's there's gonna, there's not any sort of differences all at the same pump so it should be a really good test um, I'm hoping that the computer and that the actual gas mileage are a little bit closer than it was the last time and we'll see so I'm gonna be going about seven miles over the speed limit or so so um, the speed limit on the freeway is 70 miles an hour so we're gonna be going about 77 I'll turn on the cruise control, the radar adaptive cruise control. And um, so there's no variables there. And oh, I did actually charge up the, the vehicle. And so I do have full batteries and I'll charge it up before my next test. Um, so that's not gonna be a variable at all. I, I don't even know if that would matter, but just to rule everything out, I went ahead and charged it up as well. So I'm really looking forward to this test and seeing what it what it looks like. Hey guys, so we're at the gas station filling up for the trip. So um, yeah, so the gas released, and so we're gonna just top it off. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do one more uh, little pull to top it off. And there we go. Okay, so she's full. I heard it. So I filled up at the gas station. We're actually gonna run home real quick. We are going to fill up the roof rack and then we're gonna start our trip. But we're gonna do this basically the same thing for each run. All right guys, so we load up the RAV4. So it's pretty well loaded down. So it's definitely gonna have an impact on uh, the wind and how much wind resistance is hitting it. So that's kind of typical for what we do when we go on a trip. So it should be a really good test. Yeah, I do hear really a substantial amount of wind noise here so yeah it's gonna be um it really is gonna be interesting to see what this test uh, what it shows when you have that rack fully loaded all right you guys we are at our halfway point um, the odometer says 55 miles it's kind of nice we went up up a mountain range it kind of flattened out a little bit and then we'll go back over that mountain range then come back down so a little bit uphill, a little bit downhill, so that's, that's a pretty good test. 
110 miles, I think it's going to give us a really good idea on the differences between um, the miles per gallon between something that has a big old roof rack with a bunch of gear on it and then a stock vehicle. So yeah, I'm excited to get to the gas station and see how much gas we used. All right, we'll see you at the gas station. All right, you guys, so we're back at the gas station and I'm at the same fuel, fuel pump, so that's great. Um, so I'm about ready to turn off the car and see what the computer thinks that we got as far as gas mileage. Um, yeah, this worked out really good. I got exactly 110 miles for this trip, so that's good. Um, so trip A, um, it's gonna be a little bit shorter, the, um, the actual mileage, because like I said, I, like I said, I went, I went home. So let's see what the computer think that our trip did. Um, not quite all the way to Baker, but, but pretty close. All right, here we go. Okay, 109 miles, 16% EV driving ratio, 30.1 miles per gallon. That's pretty, pretty damn good, huh? Yeah, that's, that's really good. A little better than I was expecting, 30 miles per gallon. That's what the computer thinks I got. Uh, 110 miles, so we'll see. Uh, one of the things I am gonna do is I'm gonna charge up the battery because it was fully charged, even though I shouldn't have used that much of the battery because um, I was in hybrid mode the whole way, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up the gas tank and see how much gas we used, all right? So, we used 3.69 gallons for that trip. All right guys, we're at the uh, halfway point here. Um, we've gone 55 miles and uh, we've been at it for 52 minutes. Um, so we're on our way back. It's gonna take about an hour and 40 minutes or so. And um, then we're gonna get home and take the crossbars off <laughs> and do it all again for another hour and 40 minutes. It's all in good fun, because I'm curious on, on what the results will be. All right, so we'll see if I get any other interesting thoughts in my head. I need to merge on the freeway here. I don't know if there is any sort of standard, um, like when the EPA does their tests on cars, if there's any sort of standard that they use for the amount of, of miles that they're required to do, um, if they're supposed to do. I mean, obviously they've got the city uh, test and then they've got the uh, highway test. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's interesting. Or if, if the car has to be broken in, do they um, do it on a brand new car? Or do they, you know, want to use a broken in car? Because usually a broken in car will have um, a little bit better gas mileage. So yeah, it's interesting. I, I don't know don't know the answer to that question if you guys know yeah feel free to comment below that'd be great okay bye <clears throat> all right guys so we're at the gas station i'm curious i'm just super super curious as to what the gas mileage is going to be on the um on the computer and i'm not going to know exactly what our gas mileage is when we look at how much gas we've done until I get home and, and I can calculate it on a computer. So we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car and we're gonna see what the computer says. So we did a total of 110 miles and we did it in an hour and 41 minutes. My average speed was 65, but I actually averaged 77 on the highway. So there we go. You'll see it just as I see it. And let's see, turn off the power. And okay, it says 38.1 miles per gallon, 21% EV mode, an hour and 41 minutes, 109.3 miles. That's pretty good gas mileage there, 38.1 miles per gallon. Really good. 21% um, EV driving ratio. I know that was the one thing that was kind of weird last time that EV driving ratio was a lot different. Let me um, put some gas in and let's see what the, um, how much gas we used. Okay, so 2.9 gallons is what we used. 
Okay, so we're gonna um, head home. We're gonna take the crossbars off and we're gonna do it one more time. It's gonna be a late day, <laughs> a lot of driving today. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the crossbars off. Um, a little late today. That's gonna be a long day of driving. So we got about an hour and 40 minutes ahead of us. I just let my wife know. It's gonna be a little late. <laughs> um, so yeah, 38 miles per gallon with those crossbars on. That is, that's pretty good. I'm, I don't know if we're gonna beat it by much. And maybe those things are really efficient. I don't know. So anyway, um, heading off, it's uh, five o'clock and we'll, um, I don't know if I'll have too much to say on our way there. Um, I will um, check back with you at the halfway point and see how things are going. Hopefully we'll make a little better, some pretty good time. All right guys, we have made it to our halfway point. It's taken us 50 minutes so far, I'm averaging 65 miles an hour. Yeah, hardly any traffic, so that's good. I can merge onto the freeway here without killing myself. Anyway, so I will see you guys soon. I don't know if I have anything more to talk about. Um, but we will um, see you at the gas station and see what our stock RAV4 Prime got. Okay guys, my um, <laughs> my GoPro ran out of juice, so this is what we got. So we just finished, I'm about ready to turn off the car, so hold on. Alright, here we go. So I'm about ready to turn off the car, and we get to see what the car thinks, what kind of gas mileage we got. Yeah, so we got 38 miles per gallon on the crossbars. So what are we going to get um, without the crossbars? Turn it off and see what we get. What are your predictions? I predict 40.5. That's what I predict. So it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little bit over than two miles. Let's see what we get. Thirty-five point five. Okay, so this is what it's reading is two point nine three gallons. So let's top it off. Three point two gallons. Okay. Hey everyone. So I'm back from testing. I don't know if you're as stunned as me, but like the title of this video says, I was absolutely stunned with the results. So let's go ahead and look at the numbers. First of all, with the roof rack on and all the gear, I was really surprised by how well it did. 30 miles per gallon with all the stuff on top of the roof rack is pretty amazing. I've gotten some not so great gas mileage probably in the 22 to 25 mile per gallon range when I'm on my trips. Perhaps that can be attributed to the extra weight that I have in the car. So with myself and my wife and our golden retrievers, we also have a cargo box, a cargo hitch box that sits on the back, which has probably 150 pounds of stuff in it. And then we also have stuff inside the car. So maybe that extra weight can attribute that to it. Um, maybe I'm going a little bit faster, but still 38 or 30 miles per gallon on the freeway going 77 miles per hour with all that wind resistance up on top of the roof. You know, I think that's really pretty amazing. I will say that I'm happy to report that the RAV4's computer in regards to rating the miles per gallon seems to be really, really good. I guess that probably isn't any surprise. Toyota's been doing this for a long time. But the last test that I did, the miles per gallon that the computer got and the miles per gallon that I got when I actually looked at how much gas I com consumed, they were quite a bit different. I guess I'll attribute that to the fact that I just didn't do enough mileage when I did my previous test, but in this test, they were really close, within one miles per gallon of each other, so I feel really good about that. So when I tested the Prime with the crossbars installed, it got a pretty good number. So it got 38 miles per gallon over those 110 miles, and I wasn't driving slow. I was driving 77 miles per hour. We were going up a mountain and back down a mountain. It was pretty warm. So yeah, that's pretty darn good. 
Um, I'll say I was going maybe a little bit slower. I had a little more traffic on that run versus the run without the crossbars, but it was only a minute difference. And so that really wasn't that much of a difference. And I don't think it probably contributed much to the difference in the gas mileage. So the biggest surprise for me and I almost didn't know what to do with this video because you have your preconceived conceptions on or preconceptions on what you think is going to happen in the video and then when it doesn't happen you're like oh geez what am I supposed to do with that right so yeah I was positive that I was going to get about at least two miles per gallon better without the crossbars than with the crossbars and when the RAV4 Prime or my RAV4 Prime with the crossbars when it got 38 miles per gallon and the one without the crossbars got 35.5 miles per gallon. Yeah, I was pretty shocked and stunned. I didn't really know what to think of it. Um, but I think that just goes to show you probably how really efficient those crossbars are that Toyota puts on that RAV4 Prime. And so, you know, that's pretty amazing. I really, it doesn't make any sense to me. It seems impossible to me that the RAV4 Prime with crossbars installed would perform better than a RAV4 Prime without crossbars. I, I mean, how is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's some magical wind effect um, that's happening with those crossbars installed. I, I just don't understand. I mean, it could be maybe that the weather conditions were a little bit different between the runs, but literally I did the run with the crossbars and the run without the crossbars right after each other because it was late and I wanted to get that second test done and hopefully have my not wife not too pissed at me from coming home so late. So I didn't really feel much of a difference, but yeah, I, I can't explain it. Um, like I said, maybe it was the weather conditions. Maybe it had something to do with you know, the speed that I was traveling at, maybe the speed going up the hill and down the hill had an impact, I, I just don't know. But, you know, I, I think that just goes to show you that you really don't gain much by not having the crossbars installed. So as I had mentioned, I had this preconceived thought that the crossbars really did affect gas mileage in the two miles per gallon range at least. And, you know, I had taken the crossbars off of my RAV4 Prime kind of after we got done with all of our camping. <clears throat> but I think I've changed my mind. So after having the RAV4 Prime without crossbars for a little while, and I just don't like the way it looks as much with the crossbars installed. You know, our license plate for our RAV4 Prime says Brutus, and certainly that RAV4 Prime or Brutus looks a lot tougher with the crossbars installed than without the crossbars installed. So I think I'm gonna put those suckers right back on and that's gonna make my wife really happy because she loves the crossbars as well. So after all of this testing over the last couple of months for miles per gallon and fuel efficiency, I think I'm gonna keep my day job and leave the testing to the EPA. What do you think? As always, if you got value from this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you on the next one again very soon.